Sonable Proximity EQ will be free the entire month of June. Let's try it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixbus TV, hope you're having a great day. If you like the channel, please hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, check the info box down below for my mixing courses and a bunch of useful links, comments and shares are always appreciated. Short video to show you guys an interesting plugin by Sonable. Proximity EQ. The good news is this $130 EQ is going to be free the entire month of June with every purchase at Plugin Boutique. Yes, even $1 purchase. And they have the best deals on plugins anywhere. I get mine there all the time. I'm sure you'll find something and you have 30 days of time. This is the first time I tried this equalizer. We know Sonable makes really good stuff. I reviewed their Smart EQ too and I've been using that a lot in my mixes to quickly fix problematic tracks. This one is another very different approach to equalization. Uh, proximity EQ is in the name. It helps you position the source closer or further away. It can be very useful to clean up bad recording, for example a vocal in a two reverberary room, non-treated room, or a drum in a resonating room. And even for speech, maybe an interview, the microphone was too far away. So it's good for both post-production and music. The good news is this can be used as a regular parametric equalizer. So no matter what, you get a digital parametric equalizer by Sonable for free, but it also has the proximity algorithm in it. So let's start with a flat and let's take a look at the controls. So we have the regular bands with gain and Q for each band filters and actually you can see the EQ this way with the knobs if you prefer and then at the bottom here let's flat it we have the proximity controls the first one is the proximity knob this is the general proximity effect control turning it clockwise will put the source the sound source closer and counterclockwise will put it further away. Then we have the strength knob, self-explanatory, and the smoothing to smooth out the artifacts. But then for each band, for example, let's take this one, you can decide up here if you want to use it as a regular parametric EQ and you click the bell filter, or you can turn that band into a proximity filter. This way you can selectively, by frequency and bandwidth, remove echoes and reverbs from a given track. Uh, without using the general proximity control or in combination uh, to it, as you can see from the graphic. So each band can be used either as a regular parametric EQ or as a proximity filter. But because I don't have any badly recorded tracks here, unfortunately, I'm just gonna use this one quickly uh, to show you on an acoustic guitar and on a vocals to which I applied reverb. So a lot more than you would get on a regular recording unless you record in an airport. So let's try first on acoustic guitar. Very interesting, especially in this percussive part. Okay, this was without tweaking any individual band, just using the general proximity control. I actually uh, did work on this guitar a little bit and came up with this one. So as you can see, the um, proximity filter works the other way around. Th if I boost this band, any band, and I'm in proximity filter mode, this will remove the reverb, the echo, and will put uh, the source closer, again, per band. If I turn this down, we'll do the opposite. So it will take away the direct signal and leave the ambience around it. So in this case, to remove echoes and reverbs, you wanna boost if you are in proximity filter mode. From here, we can adjust the proximity, the overall proximity effect to decide when it starts sounding unnatural and how much we can push it.
unfortunately I don't have any bad recording here so this guitar was sounding good already uh, this is just to show you how the plugin works and what you can do with it let's try it really quick on that vocal so in here I'm doing the same thing I have this dry vocal I applied a little bit of reverb to it Won't dwell on the past and the shadow we cast so unembraceable and alive actually I applied a lot of reverb but it's just to show you the plugin so this is without we won't dwell on the past and the shadow we cast so unembraceable and at last look you dead in the eye the peel off the sky we won't dwell on the past and the shadow we cast so unembraceable and at last look you dead in the eye the peel off the sky okay so you can see i use the general proximity uh, curve the filter here and then I also used the bands the single bands here a 120 and then a 665 and another one around 3k again with the single bands used in proximity filter you just remove selectively those ranges you just remove the reverb and the echoes on those ranges selectively and then you can also integrate with the proximity knob with the general proximity knob anyway this was just an example. Uh, I think it's a, it's an interesting EQ. It can be useful, definitely. And most important, it's going to be free. So the link is going to be in the info box down below, along with other useful links and also my mixing courses, if you're interested. This is it for this video. I hope it was useful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Follow Mixbus TV on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.